The inner ear has a complex system to help us balance and navigate our surroundings. For example, cilia of the hair cells. These tiny hair-like structures bend when fluid in the inner ear moves, triggering signals to the brain about head position and movement. The otolith crystals. These small calcium crystals are embedded in a gel-like substance and move with the fluid in the inner ear, bending the cilia and sending signals to the brain. Then you have the saccule and neutricle. These two structures in the inner ear contain the otolith crystals in the hair cells. They detect linear movements like moving up and down or side to side. And across the way you have the cupula. This gel-like structure surrounds the hair cells in the semicircular canals and helps detect rotational movements. When the head moves, the fluid in the inner ear lags behind, bending the cilia and triggering signals to the brain. The brain then uses this information to understand the head's position and movement, helping us maintain our balance. Each part plays a crucial role in detecting different types of movement and working together to keep us upright and stable. So stick around. I'm going to show you exactly how to fix your balance right now. A lot of you out there are dealing with dizziness. You feel off balance. You have that vertical. And it's something called BPPV, which is benign parasystemal positional vertical. You've been feeling this for a little bit now and it's probably worrying you. So I'm going to give you an easy exercise that you can do in the comfort of your home. And you're only going to need a bench or somewhere that's going to sustain the length of your body and the width of your body. So that way we can get those crystals back in place. Because what's happening is those crystals are getting out of whack and it's causing this spatial off balance film. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit in the center of your bench here and we're going to slowly turn our head 45 degrees and in that same position as you turn 45 degrees you want to quickly go ahead and lie down at the 45 degree angle now you want to be slightly off the bench as far as your head you want to be slightly off the bench and you want to hold this position for about 30 seconds now keep in mind that if you start to feel nauseous you start to feel more dizzy go ahead and raise up and give yourself time Feeling a little bit off balance and a little bit dizzy doing this is typically normal because you're trying to get things calibrated. So after about 30 seconds or so holding it in the 45 degree position, and I'm doing this a little slower just so I can give you step by step, and then I'll do it all the way through after that. Once you're in this position for 30 seconds, go ahead and lie back up. Get back into the center. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the next side. We're gonna do the other opposite end. So let's turn 45 degrees. Get it in that position and lean back over and we're going to hold it in this position here for about 30 seconds okay give yourself time again it's going to feel a little awkward for a while especially take your time as you raise back up you may feel a little off balance and it just may feel like okay is this working it takes time so raise back up get back in the center give yourself some grace give yourself some time do this process about five times if you can if you can get up to about five uh, times doing this repetitions and do it for each side for 30 seconds five times two, for two weeks do that and I hope at that particular time frame that BPPV that vertical that all balance feeling starts to subside so I am going to go through the entire process and I'm going to do it at a rhythm so that way you can follow along so here we go okay we're gonna get in the center, turn our head 45 degrees, lean over, hold it here, 30 seconds. All right, raise back up, okay? Make sure you're back and centered, 45 degree angle, lean to the opposite end. Hold it there, 30 seconds. And this is important as you raise up, keep that head stabilized. All right. Do this again five times for two weeks at 30 seconds each time. I hope this video was very helpful for you. If it was, please take time to subscribe to the channel. Try to bring content as often as possible. But in the meantime, I'm going to step out of the J-Wall in the studio and leave you in good hands with this video. Like anything else, folks, we're here to simply go back to the basics. Take care, everybody, and I will catch you in the next video.